Hey guys, Hale White for Fish Strong. It's that time of year again. It's the time of year for soft tissue overuse injuries galore. Everybody's going to get them. Especially guys up north who like stay cooped up like half the year and then get back out, you know, on the first day uh, the sun shines and start fishing again. Oh, Bob, I think the ice is melting. Time to catch a whopper, eh? You know, a few weeks later, next thing you know, ow, your arm, elbow, tendonitis, knots, tightness. Graston is maybe something you haven't heard of, but what it is, it's a form of aggressive soft tissue therapy. And one thing that we bass anglers overlook is the quality of our tissues. And the tissues that are important to us are going to be shoulders, you know, forearm muscles, things like that. I hear the stories all the time. People always write me and ask me questions. What should I do? A lot of that is just, just muscle related, soft tissue, muscle tendons. Um, you got adhesions being built up from really little micro injuries or, or, or what they are, just sudden overuse or just overuse in general, not uh, tending to the quality of the tissue along the way. You're going to want a kitchen knife, something fairly blunt at the end. You don't want anything really pointy. You want it to have a little bit of a rounded edge, but you also don't want it to be too blunt. You want something that can dig in a little bit, but not too sharp. And coconut oil. Here I got some Dr. Bronner's Magic All One Fair Trade and Organic, no doubt. Dr. Bronner's. Reminds me of this Beatles song. I think it was called Dr. Roberts, but this is Dr. Bronner's. Yeah, I like to share music with you guys, as you can tell on some of my posts. So get you some coconut oil and liberally, and I don't mean like left wing or anything, I just mean liberally apply it to the area that is burning. The area that you wish you could just hold your arm out and the earth itself roll down a hill woo, and over your arm. That area. The area that you wish an Asian woman would stand on top of for hours at a time. Find the area that you wish an Imperial Walker on the ice planet Hoth would step on. You want to apply the coconut oil there. Okay. All over. Apply liberally. Liberally. And on top of that, this is really good for your skin. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Be uh, warned, you may be tempted to lick this off because coconut oil smells really good. Kind of reminds me of Newman when he was craving a bite of Kramer after he was all buttered up for his butter shave. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So get a towel or something, put it down on a table. You want to rest the arm. Be very relaxed, kind of give it the limp wrist. You know what I mean? Don't be tight. The real Graston practitioners have really expensive overpriced, I'm sure, but well-designed equipment just for this purpose. And uh, they even have a special little oil and everything that they use, and that's probably also very expensive. But I found the coconut oil works really well, seems to work just as well as the, the real deal, whatever it is they're selling. Probably half of it's made of coconut oil, I don't know. But um, I've had the real Graston technique done several times, and uh, this feels just as good. Got Dr. Bronner's here. So, you're going to take the knife, okay, the blunt end. You don't want real sharpened. Obviously, you're not going to do that. You're going to take the handle. You're going to hold it like a pencil, kind of, and just start working in there. Work that tissue. There we go. You just want to work the tissue like this. Remember, stay loose. Let's just pretend my arm is flat on a table and I'm, and I'm relaxing. you got your extensors. you got your flexors, okay? And just go back and forth. Start light and gradually get a little deeper. And you're going to feel little knots, little bumps. The vibrations are going to go through the handle of the knife. And you're going to feel them. It's going to feel like the warning strip on a highway. Right? 
You're going to feel it. Just work it around. Don't hurt yourself. You guys will know when you're doing damage because it'll be, it'll be like a bad kind of pain. When you hit a tight spot that's really messed up, it will hurt. It won't be comfortable, but it'll be kind of like a, ooh, I need this kind of thing. I got a little bump right there going on. What's up with that? A little speed bump. Work that out. Sometimes you want to dig in and, and separate the fibers. Kind of splay them out a little bit. Just work. Find a spot. Find like, say there's like a little bump, a little knot of tissue. Get on top and just, just, just work it down a little bit. And then find the area between the fibers and just sort of sort of spread it out real slow. Little micro movements. So a lot of you guys, you're going to do this and it's going to be like a gold mine everywhere you go. Like really rough and frictiony. That's not cool. So just experiment. What feels good, you can't, ar you can't argue with that. So if something feels really awesome and necessary, then that's a good thing. You want to focus right here on top, brachioradialis area right there, kind of on the crest of the forearm muscles. And I like right over here on the outside. See, I'll show you what I got here. Right here. I like this area right here. That's a big deal for me. It's really tight. It's like a really tough, taut band of fascia. You got to break down that tight, scarred up fascia. That's right. And you may want to put some oil here on the pale side of the arm, right? And just remember, relax and get the flexors. Ooh, lots of bumps, lots of vibration coming through here. That to me says slow down, spend a little time. If the point is too much, go with the handle. Go with the handle. The grassing tools, they're like curved and they're shaped in a way that is designed to hit certain parts of the body. But hey, you know what I mean? We're just going to have to make do. I know some of you guys, you live hundreds of miles away from the closest grassing therapist. You're not going to see a grassing therapist. You're not going to drive six hours to go see one and have appointments for three or four weeks straight. You're not going to do it. And that's why I'm telling you about this poor man's ghetto grassing technique. Because uh, you need to help yourself, you know. Um, be careful, you know. This is not something to take lightly. A lot of Graston guys will probably see this and be like, how dare you try to teach them to, you know, uh, administer the technique on themselves or whatever. I went to school for this long and had these seminars and whatever. And But you know what? You don't live in uh, Crunk, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? So what are you going to do? You can't treat somebody who's not going to come to you, and we're all about helping people here at Fish Strong Headquarters. And I'm not even claiming that I do this 100% correctly. I could be doing a couple little things wrong, but I'm not hurting myself. I've done this a lot, and I can tell you I've never hurt myself. You may get a little bit of a rashy kind of redness when you're all done, but that happens with the real practitioners. They will rub you raw sometimes because sometimes they don't use enough oil. But I like to liberally apply the coconut oil. And so I never, I never get dry here. But the adhesions, it's bound up, sticky, twisted muscle fibers that are literally sticking to each other. And there's not a lot of, uh, you know, like lubricant. The blood and the nutrients that normally flow through, water, all that, that whole mixture that... Uh, usually flows through there and delivers the nutrients. That's not in there because it's so bound up. It's literally blocking off the healing properties of the plasma. Yeah, so when you're done, I just kind of like to squeeze the arm like that. Man, this feels so much better. Now I could like totally text BRB and LOL like all day long. LMAO! And not have my forearms hurt. No, but literally, this is about fishing. This is about staying on the water and fishing in a pain-free state. That's what this is about. So, you know, 10 minutes maybe per arm, and do the other arm. I'm gonna stop this video here, and I'm gonna get the other arm done. Kitchen knife, coconut oil, YouTube grass and videos. Get an idea for how the professionals do it, and you can kinda of try to emulate that at home for yourself. That's what I would recommend you do. Um, 
don't worry, you might see some warnings and you should not do this at home, you know, treating you like a child or whatever, but come on, you're all adults, right? Well, some of you. I don't know about some of the sizzlers out there. But other than that, guys, fish strong, okay? Uh, off. Bridges and Bama rigs, bridges and Bama rigs.